video we're going to be taking a look at the media and media library module. They are now in core, so we're going to activate the modules, we're going to create a media field and we're going to check the media library widget. So here we have a Drupal instance installed and as we see under reports, status report, our Drupal 8 version is actually 8.7.2 which means it's greater than 8.7 in which the media and media library modules were already stable and included. So if we go under extend and if we search for media we're going to actually see the media module we're going to activate it and we're seeing also the media library module so we're going to activate it also and we're going to click install and continue that's perfect so as we install the modules if we go under structure now we're going to now see a link menu that is called media types and we're going to actually see those media types as we are creating then the media field. So the media module is actually giving us a better media field. So if we now create a article before creating a media field, actually close to media field is for example the image and it looks like this. And it's not super cool because if we have a image uploaded from another article and if we want to reuse it, we're not going to be able to do that. So let's go ahead and create the media field. So if we go under structure and then content types and let's go ahead and add it for the article under manage fields. And if we add a field, we're going to to see that now there is a media field that is under the reference fields so we're going to click that we're going to call it media image because we're going to be creating just images here we're going to allow just one image and here we're going to say that we are allowing from the media types just the image one and we're going to click save and just to make sure that the new media image field is using the correct widget if we go under manage form display we're going to see that the media image is using the media library the other module that we activated which is exactly as we wanted so if we now go to content and if we create a new article, we're going to call it ego because we have an image of a ego. And now we see the new media image. So we're going to add a media and we're going to see that here, if there were some images, we would be able to reference them directly. But let's go ahead and first add a image so we're going to click open and we're going to say ego save and select that's perfect we're going to save that then we're going to create another one we're going to say new article let's say parrot because we have another image of a parrot and as we see now we already could directly reference images that already exist but we actually have a image of a parrot it's this one so we're going to click open and we're going to say parrot and insert selected that's perfect save and we also have a third bird which is a tropical bird so we're going to say tropical bird and we're going to add so the nice thing here as we saw is that we could 
here directly select images that already exist we could change the sorting we could also for example if there were like 20 images and we were searching for something special for example for eagle if we say eagle and we apply the filters we see just the eagle and if we say parrot and if we apply the filters actually there we didn't type any meaningful so curious bird if we just say bird we're seeing here just the parrot that's perfect but as we were adding a tropical bird we're going to simply add this one and we're going to say tropical bird there we go save and select and insert and if we save now and the last thing that comes with the media module that is really nice is that if we go under content there is a tab now that is called media and here we see all the media instances that we have on our page and we could basically do some bulk operations with them and as we click on them we could also change the alternative text so this is pretty much it on how to use the media and media library modules that exist now in Drupal 8 core. So if you like this video, please check the links in the description, like, subscribe, ask if you have any questions regarding this topic and thanks for watching.